how much does good lighting cost? That is the most common question we get. And it's a good question to ask because lighting design can explode and be incredibly expensive. Now, if you've looked at our service menu, you understand the design services can range anywhere from a dollar to a square foot up to four to eight to ten dollars a square foot, depending on the, the project and, and which service you choose. But that's just one component, right? There's there's more to it. How much is this gonna how much is this gonna cost? Now our design team designs to your budget. In other words, we don't go off and do a lighting design and then say, oh, it's gonna cost you ten dollars. We go off and do some lighting design, we work with you, we go back and forth and we say, oh, okay, how, you're, you're, you're comfortable spending $8 to achieve these looks? Great, we'll figure out how to make it work for $8. That's how it works with us. But how do you choose that budget? I mean, that's the, that's the tough question because how many know how to choose a lighting budget? Honestly, I didn't know until we ran the data on hundreds of projects to give us ranges and to figure that out. And builders builders can include an allowance and it's usually just based on a quantity of recessed downlights and a fixture allowance per can. So it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna use 200 downlights and we're going to budget $200 a can. Well, that gives us a budget of, you know, whatever that is, 40,000, right? That's the budget for it. And there's the builders that's the way the builders should do it really because the lighting profession is byzantine it's full of all kinds of technical terms of science of geometry of physiology biology psychology like all of that is involved and it's simply impossible for most other professionals to learn what they need to learn about lighting because lighting is a full-time job so builders will do what they've done on the last project if they didn't get any complaints, there's really no reason for them to change. The builders probably have never had the opportunity to experience good lighting design versus good lighting layout. So we don't blame the builders for, for um, you know, setting their lighting budgets the way they set them. That's just the way the industry works. And they, they also need to be competitive. So uh, they, you know, they need to keep their lighting budgets uh, as, as trim as they can be. Usually that's not enough. It's not enough to do great lighting. It's it's enough to get light into the space. It's enough to do a lighting layout. So you've got four cans and a chandelier in here. It's enough so that you can see and and you know move around. But it's not going to deliver the comfort and the quality and the relaxation and the, the welcomeness that a true lighting design will. Lighting design, of course, is going to take more layers of light. It's going to take higher performance fixtures. And those are going to take more time to install. So it's all going to impact the budget and require a higher budget if you're going to get more than the, the, the sort of basic, the, the, the minimum level. Now, lighting costs generally break into four different categories. The cost of the decorative fixtures, and as architectural lighting designers, we do not specify decorative fixtures unless we're asked to as part of our limited service. Generally, that's done by the homeowner or the interior designer. Those fixtures are chosen. So that's one component of the budget. Second component of the budget is architectural fixtures. Those are the fixtures that we use and that we specify, and that if we could, we'd make them disappear entirely because they're not about the fixture itself. They're about the light that comes out of the fixture. They're about how they perform. So those architectural fixtures will be another budget segment. Then, of course, labor and materials for installation, pulling wire, electrical boxes, your electrical contractors, etc. All of that labor is another component. And the fourth component will be switching and controls. So whether it's switches, dimmers, or um, a, a, more, um, a more convenient to use control system, all of those pieces will come together to make up the budget. We will talk primarily about architectural fixtures because that's the budget we can control. Once we understand your priorities through the, the, the intake process and the discover process, we can start to do the math to determine budget ranges even before we've completed the design. So there are no surprises for you. Now, we look at the finished conditioned square footage of your house, but we also add in any space that would have lighting, such as entry porches or garages or covered outdoor living spaces. If it's got a cover over it, it's probably gonna have lighting in it, and we're gonna need to do lighting for that. Now, the combination of all of that is something we call illuminated square feet. 
anywhere there's light. And that's the multiplier that we use in our calculations. Our team has studied the data from hundreds of projects to determine cost ranges so that you can help narrow in on a budget that is uh, that is right for you, that is, is right for your target. Our current average is about $16 a square foot for the cost of architectural fixtures, but we have delivered at every single one of these budget ranges. And, you know, we call it utility, one to four dollars a square foot for cost of fixtures. That's where most homes are. When you move into lighting design, it's you're going to get a lot more benefit out of the light if you can stretch into the basic or performance category. And if you're looking for circadian wellness, um, tunable light that shifts, you know, so you can get the white light to match the daylight, those kinds of technologies or ultimate luxury projects, you're going to be looking on the north side of this line, 16, 25, 35, even $45 a square foot for the cost of the fixtures. And you'll take that cost of the fixtures, like I, like I said, our, our average uh, last year was $16 a square foot, and you'll add that to your decorative allowance, you'll add that to the labor and installation, and you'll add that to the switching and controls to get a budget. That way you can determine your total lighting spend. Now the bottom line is that we design to your bottom line, not ours. And best of all, our design team is compensated for their time. We make no commission on the fixture sale, so it doesn't matter to us, to our designers, whether you buy $5 of fixtures or $5 million of fixtures, it doesn't affect our bottom line, meaning there's no incentive for our designers to specify more expensive stuff um, just to get, you know, get a commission or whatnot, because it doesn't happen. So we get you the best design for your money. Whatever your budget is, we can help you invest that in lighting more wisely. Um, the end result is that sticker shock, costly revisions, and costly delays, which are unfortunately all too common in traditional lighting design, they go away. And that may be the best part of the design process of all.